The 2022 Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo is quite a mouthful, so let's break it down. First, it's a Porsche, which means you're getting performance, for a price, of course. Second, it's a Taycan, Porsche's first all-electric vehicle, that debuted two years ago. Lastly, the Cross Turismo denotes that it has a wagon-like hatch instead of the more conventional trunk. Put it all together, and you've got a very fast and pricey electric vehicle with more versatility than a sedan. Like the standard Taken, the Cross Turismo is a joy to drive. It can be incredibly comfortable and effortless to drive one moment and then, with a simple twist of a knob, provide otherworldly performance the next. For 2022, Porsche is enhancing the Taken's appeal even more. First up is a new GTS trim. Slotting between the fours and turbo trims in price, the GTS has special front and rear styling, turbo-like power and other performance-oriented upgrades as standard equipment. Porsche actually calls this version the GTS Sport Turismo instead of Cross Turismo. The other big news is that Android Auto, finally, comes to the Taken this year. It requires plugging in via the USB-C port, in contrast to Apple CarPlay, which supports a wireless connection, but owners of either smartphone type will now enjoy an integrated experience. Overall, the Taken Cross Turismo is one of the best luxury EVs for 2022 and has distinct advantages over the rival Audi e-tron GT, Mercedes-Benz X and Tesla Model S. Check out our test team's expert trading to learn more about its real-world range, performance, utility and more. The mid-range Taken Cross Turismo 4s should have more than enough power to satisfy if you're performance-minded. It comes well equipped off the bat, but we'd also add the premium and technology packages to get items such as ventilated seats, adaptive cruise control, and other safety and convenience features. Porsche Taken models. The 2022 Porsche Taken Cross Turismo is a four-passenger wagon based on the all-electric Taken sedan. It is offered in five trim levels, four, fours, GTS, Turbo, and Turbo S. All Cross Turismo models feature dual electric motors, all-wheel drive and a 93.4 kWh battery, though performance and range vary. Are we having deja vu all over again? At last year's SUV of the year competition we tossed out some perfectly wonderful contenders for the sin of being cars. Both the Audi A6 all-road and the Mercedes-Benz E450 all-terrain failed to make the finalist cuts simply because they weren't SUV enough to compete. Granted, we really liked both wagons. As cars. In fact, the E-Class went on to take home our coveted 2021 Car of the Year award. As features editor Christian Seabaugh said at the time, there's a sense of gatekeeping that comes with proper SUVs. Here, here. So obviously the 2022 Porsche Taken 4 Cross Turismo is just another chapter in this faux SUV story, yeah? Not so fast. Porsche hypes this car as an SUV by calling it the Cross Turismo, as distinct from the exquisite wagon version of the Mark sedan, the Panamera Sport Turismo. 
That said, aside from the body style, the only difference between the Cross Turismo and a run-of-the-mill taken is standard air suspension, a gravel mode, and a slight ride height increase of 0.8 inch. That's it. Underneath the great-looking bodywork is a Cross Turismo exclusive dual-motor powertrain good for 375 horsepower and 368 pounds foot of torque. Going from sedan to wagon, oops, we mean SUV, those come with a slight range penalty, 215 versus 225 miles for an entry-level taken sedan, though your mileage may, greatly, vary, of course. How does the Taken 4 Cross Turismo differ from other German wagons dressed up as SUVs? Off-road hijinks. No, really. As associate online editor Duncan Brady said, more fun in gravel and around our sand course than any other vehicle here. You hear that? The baby lift electric station wagon was more fun off pavement than everything else competing for the golden calipers, including the mighty Ford Bronco and the mightier Jeep Wrangler. The person writing this may or may not have been asked by a videographer to perform six loops around a sand pit, just for the epic rooster tales. But a smile-inducing Hoon Mobile does not an SUV of the year make. In fact, most judges can't bring themselves to even call the Porsche an SUV, 